So guys, uh, welcome back to Model Trains and Such. I'll just turn that off a minute. That's my live power feed um, that's on all the time. So what we've got, 438. I want 437, 439, 439, 439. So I'll leave that where it is. That This uh, shaft size I want is actually 437. And just touching that, that is quite warm now. So that'll be it for that length until it's cooled down. Um, this is actually one of the axles out of the 5 inch gauge class 08. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to mark up how long I want this shaft because there's still some more through into the lathe. But I've just been turning this down just a couple of thou above size that I want. This size in the middle is a uh, half inch and I've got a phosphor bronze, um, not a phosphor bronze, an oil light, uh, some oil light bushes that go on, go on here, which are actually the same as half inch. So I'm literally machining this middle piece down to half inch so that I can just fettle it down a couple of thin cuts until the uh, bushing just slots on nicely and it's not a wobble fit. So I'm just going to dig this corner out, make it nice and flush, and then I'll pull it out and uh, mark up the full length of the shaft. You, 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 you'll see in a minute anyway, so I will bring you back in a moment. So this is one of the shafts I made last night. What I like bushes just sit on there. That is four point so I've got the drawing. Four three seven five. That diameter, this is half inch, and this is just literally just polished machine down just below half an inch because that uh, oil light bushing is half an inch internal diameter. And that just slots onto there like that. Now this side, I got a bit too um, excited, and you probably won't see it on the camera, but it's a bit too slack. So what I plan to do with that is to rescue that, is buy some uh, JB Weld, I think it's called. Put some JB Weld all, all the way around it, let it go off and harden, because it's, it's like a metal glue, so I'm hoping it should, in it. It takes up to 550 degrees heat. Now this this turning round in here is never gonna, gonna generate that sort of heat, so that should be able to rescue that. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Now has my blue gone off? Yes, just about. So let's have a look at the length of this. Now just doing it by eye on a rule, that's set on zero at the end. I want this 8 and a 16th long. So I'm just going to do this by eye. I should really put a rule across it. What I'll do is I'll take it off that. Then we'll just line it up. This is where I should really have a a V block, but I don't have one. It's lined up on zero, just there, and we want one sixteenth after eight inches. Which is there. So back over to the lathe. So what I'll do now is I'll just tighten this up and I'm just going to scratch a line where my mark is for the uh, 8 and 1 16th. Uh, so Chucky, nip that up. So 
somewhere like that. And I just bring my tool in until I get near enough on top of that line. Which is about there. Just scrape a line all the way around it. Right, we'll face this off and centre drill it. I can clearly see that line spinning around there. It's just a case of 10th hour cut. Then we'll just nibble this face off. Don't really want to go any more than 10th hour because it tends to jump and bounce about. It's not a speed record, so just gently uh, take it off. The materials is either EN8 or EN19, one of the two, I'm not sure which, but it seems like it's quite free cutting it's not been making any nasty sounds or groans while I've been machining it and it's so yeah it's going quite well I'm going to machine the rest of this down and put a center in it and I'll bring you back in a moment Right, so what I want on this now is, that is a two inch length that I've done. I now want, because on the drawing it states two inch, and this length is inch and three quarters. Yeah, and where's my calipers over there? As you can probably tell, I'm only an amateur videoer. If I was uh, professional, everything would be tidy and everything would be here. And I wouldn't have a cold cup of coffee that I've forgotten about. So, inch and three quarters in a decimal is 175. Come on. Bingo. So I'm just going to scratch that on there. And I know that that line is my datum, where, where to go to. I know it's only scribed on one side of it, but if you imagine when that's spinning around in the lathe, that looks like a constant line. I've already checked it that it is actually within length, zero an inch and one sixteenth so that is close enough for me let's go back over to the lathe and we'll machine that down so guys um, if my editing skills have have worked correctly you should have just seen a photo of the other side of the shaft um with just one pass straight down it now i'm not going to bore you with me machining that down because as you can tell with that this is the side get back on there you this is the side i'm doing it's the inch and three quarter length um you know what it's going to look like it's going to turn out like that in the end 
Um, so that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I did put one on the other night of me just messing around on the lathe, just starting to cut one of these shafts. Um, but tonight's video will give you a bit more of an insight of uh, how I make this shaft on the lathe. So that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, ta-da.